Right guys, hello, welcome back. And now I'm going to talk to you about, um, well, the game today. Uh, and it's uh, going to be down one, Sutton United one. Um, another point for the man is I am an unbeaten under uh, Ben Davis and Sean Pearson. <sighs> but again, uh, the situation raises its ugly head. Um, we ju we just cannot cannot buy I want to say buy a win we just can't buy a buy a clean sheet can we I mean you know it, it, <laughs> this was one of the most frustrating games that I've, I've sat through um because really Sutton gave us absolutely nothing. Uh, to be fair, we didn't give much either, to be completely honest. I, I think one all was a fair result. Uh, I don't think uh, anyone can be hard done by. Uh, we definitely can't. Um, we, we started okay. I mean, we got the opening goal, which was uh, a kill pike. Uh, about 20 minutes. Um, good ball cross and um, by Toby Malarkey, so he got the assist. Um, uh, and then they uh, a great goal by Wakil. And then you know you're thinking, yeah, just see this out going one nil at half time. You know, something something to build on for the second half. Um, and Town just do what Town do, and. Um, we switch off they sort of got it uh sort of just before the halfway line played a played a ball over our center halves and um it, it, you could just once they did you, you just saw it arrowing into the corner harvey cut right with with no chance really and um ended up being uh one all going in a half time and you're thinking disappointing but you know at least you know at least we've got the second half to, to sort it out and make it work and Grunsby to be fair did not really come out second half it was as though they'd stayed in the uh, they stayed in the, uh, the changing room um, for much of the half it was bitty the quality of football wasn't good we were better about with with about 25 minutes to go and we started to go direct um, we were getting in behind them a bit more uh, but never really made their goalkeeper make a save which was disappointing uh, and Harvey Cartwright made a made a belting save around about 77 78 minutes to sort of keep us in it really but Harvey didn't have an awful lot to do it, in a lot of ways it was a poor game between two poor sides two really poor sides and it was you can see why the bottom six are the bottom six you can literally see it you know um uh, and where you, you know you've got to be disappointed is the fact that you know that's Sutton and Forest Green the bottom two in the division and we only take two points from those six um, but it's all because we cannot keep a clean sheet uh, and it, it's just it's it's unbelievable, but this was the, probably the first game under Ben and Sean that we didn't look like winning. Now, what once they're able to get the goal back, we didn't really look like we were going to score again. Um, no one really stood out for me. I don't think anyone was bad, but nobody was really good. Um, it, uh, I, I know um, the match sponsors gave it to Anthony Glennon. I didn't notice Glennon much, at least on the um, at least on the field. Anyway, um, 
What annoyed me a couple of times though is Town try and play these short corners to try and mix things up. And in the second half especially, we, we tried to do that a couple of times. And um, the communication and the connection between players just just wasn't there. It was one of those games that um, in the end was destined for a draw, but obviously Sutton will be happier coming away with a draw uh, against us than we will them. Uh, I think that, you know, a new manager cannot come in soon enough. Um, we need those fresh ideas. We need a fresh impetus. Uh, ben and Sean have done really, really well. If you're wondering why I've not really spoke too much about the game in, in the way of, of football, no one really stood out to me in that game. It was such a bitty game that, you know, it was going to be down to a mistake rather than a bit of quality because there wasn't a lot of quality on that pitch today from both sides, you know, but Sutton... You know they're they're right at the bottom, so they they're going to be scrapping for every single point they can get. Results haven't necessarily gone uh, for Grimsby, to be honest with you. I mean, Forest Green um, drew their game. Tranmere won theirs. Um, you know, um, so the gap is only two points between ourselves and Tranmere now. It it's just getting, you know, where. Uh, an alarming situation where you know we need that we need a fresh impetus we really really do because at the moment that defence either needs dismantling and and um, starting again or um, they really need a, a right bollocking because it's the amount of goals that we have given away against one of the poorest attacks, in a sense, which Sutton are, even though they've not five past one team and four past another. Um, one of the poorest defences, and we, we barely laid a glove on them. I mean, their goal, they went off uh, quite early with an injury. And... Um, we just didn't do enough. And I as a I as a town fan is thinking Why are we so poor at the back? It's three reasons. One not switched on. Two decision making. And three the centre half pairings aren't working we're so poor at centre half Luke Waterfall seems to have gone inside himself again you know like he did the, the, the season we went down he just he's got no confidence whatsoever we just look nervous when you know, the ball comes back, you know, ball comes back at us. And uh, it makes it quite an easy change for them. It's it's one of, like, disappointment. A, because it was a freezing day out there. Uh, and, it, again, these are games only fans will watch. Because if it had been anybody else, people would have really not watched it. It was uh, it was painful to watch, really. Because, like I said, the quality wasn't there. Nothing was there. Um, and it's just like... It's more like a please get somebody else in. I mean, to be fair to Ben and Sean... They picked up five points from their 
from their three league games in charge. You know they've they've won two. You know and they've drew three. You know so they're unbeaten, but the league position is no better off than what we already were. Um, so have they made that much of an improvement? No, because we're still leaking goals against teams that have worse attacks than us. Yeah, you know, and it's the fact that it's another goal to add to the tally that I said we get and that we've got goals in the side. But again, it's just uh, a lapse of concentration and and um, decision making. That's just shocking. It's it's. Not acceptable. The players can come out and say or, or they like, you know, we're not happy with that. You guys are the ones out there doing it. You know, and, and, and fans are getting frustrated. They are getting irritated because it's just not, um, you know, are they capable of doing the, the jobs they're here to do? I don't know. You know, you have to start questioning. Um, like I said, I can't question the attackers. Because they didn't have much today. Neither did Sutton's. So. My main. Uh, opinion on all this is. It was a fair result. It was two. It was a. It was a. It was a scrappy draw. From. Mentally two poor sides. You know and. You can see why both sides are where they are. And I would say the bottom six teams in the division are the bottom six for a reason. Um, but I suppose the good thing is apparently we are close um, to having a new manager. No one knows exactly yet. Um, but uh, I think even if he is, I don't think, I don't know whether he'd be in charge for MK Dons, depending on when he gets the, uh, if he gets the nod. But, um, you know, I think, uh, I just look at this and go, have we over, we've improved going forward as a unit under Ben and Sean, but defensively we're still the same. It's absolutely shocking that we can't see out teams in the bottom two. Um, we're lucky to come away with a draw against Forest Green. We weren't lucky today. It was about fair. And... I don't know what else to say to this, uh, apart from a new manager cannot come soon enough. Um, because boy, do do we need some fresh ideas. If you're at the game today, let me know down below what you guys actually thought of the game, and uh, do you guys feel the same as me, or do you feel like it? You know, or, or should I be a little bit more optimistic? I, I haven't lost my optimism. I just don't have any confidence in our defence in games. I just I just know we're going to concede. It's almost certain. You know Grimsby are going to score, but at the same time, you know they're going to concede as well. And um, that's all I can say about this game, really. There's not much else to say. So if you went down, uh, down to the game today or watched it in... In uh, Paris or something like that, you know, uh, you watched it. Uh, let me know what you guys thought of it, um, and how much do you think, same as me, that we we need a manager with a completely fresh outlook? Because I think the club's in, uh, the players are definitely within the need of that. So leave your comments down below for me. Do please like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Hit the bell. That'll let you know when I upload some new content. 
and I'll be back with a uh, match preview um, for the MK Dons game in midweek when we head there on Tuesday night. So until then, until the next preview, guys, I will see you guys um, in that one. And uh, yeah, get your comments in down below for me. What do you guys think of the game? It ended Grimsby Town 1, Sutton United 1.